The Driscoll Hotel, Austin, Texas. The Driscoll Hotel in Austin, Texas was a grand historic building that stood the test of time for over a century. Built in 1886 by a wealthy cattle rancher named Jesse Driscoll, the hotel was a symbol of opulence and luxury and had played host to countless celebrities, politicians, and dignitaries over the years. The hotel was located in the heart of downtown Austin and its inordinate architecture and grandiose design made it a popular tourist destination. Visitors would often marvel at the beautiful marble floors, soaring ceilings, and the intricate woodwork that adorned the lobby. The hotel's guest room were equally impressive, with plush furnishings and luxurious amenities that made guests feel like royalty. Each room was uniquely decorated, with some featuring beautiful fireplaces, while others had private balconies with stunning views of the city. Despite the hotel's grandeur, it was said to be haunted by the ghost of Jesse Driscoll himself, According to legend, Driscoll had invested all his money into building the hotel, but soon after it opened, he went bankrupt. Devastated by his financial ruin, they say Driscoll died of a broken heart, and his ghost is said to still be roaming the halls of the hotel to this day. Many guests claim to have strange encounters with the ghost, from hearing strange noises in the middle of the night to seeing ghostly apparitions in their rooms. Some even said they felt a cold chill or a sense of unease while staying in the hotel. Despite the rumors of hauntings, the hotel remained a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. It was a popular spot for weddings and special events, and its elegant ballroom was a popular venue for parties and reception. But as the years went by, the hotel began to show its age. The grandeur of the lobby and the guest room slowly faded, and the hotel struggled to compete with newer, more modern hotels in the area. Despite the challenges, the hotel's management was determined to keep it running, and they embarked on a major renovation project. They restored the hotel to its former glory, repairing the walls, replacing the carpets, and updating the guest rooms with the latest amenities. The renovation was a huge success, and the hotel once again became a popular destination for tourists and locals. The ghost of Jesse Driscoll seemed to have been pacified by the renovation as the strange occurrences and eerie sightings stopped. The Driscoll Hotel once again stood as a symbol of opulence and luxury, and its rich history and ghostly legends only add to its allure. It is a cherished part of Austin's history and would continue to be a popular destination for generations to come. The hotel and its ghostly legend became part of the city's culture, a must-see for anyone visiting Austin. Tourists and locals alike would come to the hotel for a glimpse of its grandiose history, and for some, a chance to catch a glimpse of the ghost of Jesse Driscoll. The Driscoll Hotel, a grand building that stood the test of time, is a reminder of Austin's past, a window to its present, and a hope for its future. The Driscoll Hotel is located at 604 Brazos Street, Austin, Texas. Once upon a time in the bustling coastal town of Galveston, Texas, stood the Grand Hotel Galvez. Built in 1911, the hotel was a sight to behold with a Spanish Moorish architecture and stunning Gulf of Mexico views. Guests were welcomed into the hotel by the Grand Lobby complete with marble floors, intricate tile work, and a grand staircase. The hotel boasted over 200 guest rooms, each decorated with elegant furnishings and luxurious linens. But the hotel wasn't just a place to rest one's head. It was a destination in and of itself. Visitors would spend all day lounging by the rooftop pool, taking in the salty sea air and the sounds of the waves crashing below. They would indulge in a spa treatment in the hotel's full service spa, or even take a dip in the Gulf of Mexico just steps from the hotel's private beach. The hotel was also home to several fine dining options, including the award-winning Galvez Bar and Grill. The restaurant served up delicious Gulf Coast seafood and steaks, paired with an extensive wine list. Guests would also enjoy live music and a lively atmosphere at the hotel's bar. But the hotel's true claim to fame was its rich history. Many of the figures that stayed in the hotel, including President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and movie stars like Clark Gable. The hotel had also paid host to several high society events and galas throughout the years. One of the most memorable events in the hotel's history was the Mardi Gras Ball in 1915. The grand ballroom was transformed into a glittering palace, complete with colorful decorations 
and a live jazz band. Hotel guests danced the night away in their elegant gowns and tuxedos, and the event was talked about for years to come. Unfortunately, the hotel's grandeur was not meant to last forever. In the 1960s, the hotel fell into disrepair and was ultimately closed, but the people of Galveston refused to let the historic landmark fade away. In the 1990s, a group of dedicated citizens band together to restore the hotel to its former glory. Today, the Hotel Galveston stands once again as the proud symbol of Galveston's rich history and vibrant culture. Guests can still enjoy the luxurious amenities and experiences the hotel has to offer while also taking a step back in time to experience the glamour and elegance of a bygone era. The hotel is a perfect combination of history and luxury, and it's a must-visit place for those who are looking for a unique experience. The hotel continues to be a part of many special moments for its guests, and will be for many years to come. The Hotel Galvez is not just a place to stay. It's a part of Galveston's history, and it's an experience that no one will ever forget. The Hotel Galvez is located at 2024 Seawall Boulevard, Galveston, Texas. La Carafe Dive Bar, Houston, Texas. La Carafe Dive Bar in Houston was a place like no other. It was a small, unassuming bar located in the heart of the city but it had a charm and character that drew people in from all over to experience it. The bar had been around for over a hundred years and had seen the city change and grow around it, but it had always remained the same. The walls of the bar are adorned with pictures of old Houston, of the people who had frequented the bar over the years, and many celebrities who had made it a regular stop. The floors were made of old, worn wood that creaked with every step, but the bar itself was made of dark, polished wood that had been worn smooth by thousands of hands that had rested on it over the years. The bartenders at La Carafe were like family, and they knew the regulars by name. They knew their favorite drinks and would have them waiting for them as they walked through the door. They would listen to their stories and offer advice when needed, and they would always make sure that everyone felt welcome. The bar would be filled with a mix of people from all walks of life. There would be businessmen in suits, college students, artists, and even a few celebrities throw in for good measure. The atmosphere was lively and upbeat, and the conversation would flow freely. One of the things that made La Carafe so special was the live music that was played there. The bar had a small stage in the corner, and on any given night, you would find a local band playing their hearts out. The music was always good, and it added to an already electric atmosphere of the bar. But as the years passed, the city around La Carafe began to change. The old brick buildings were replaced by shiny new skyscrapers, and the small, locally owned businesses were pushed out by chain stores and restaurants. The neighborhood that the bar called home was no longer the same. Despite this, La Carafe refused to change. The bartenders and regulars were determined to keep the bar the same as it has always been and they worked hard to keep the atmosphere and character of the place alive. And so, even with the city changed around it, La Carafe Dive Bar remained a constant. It was a place where people could come to escape the stresses of the world and to be reminded of a simpler time. It was a place where memories were made and friendships were formed. It was a place where anyone could feel at home. As the years passed, the bar became a Houston institution, known and loved by people from all over the city. And even though the city continued to change, La Carafe Dive Bar remained the same, a beacon of hope and a reminder of what the city used to be. And for those who were lucky enough to call it their own, it would always be a place of fond memories and good times. In the end, La Carafe Dive Bar will always be remembered as the heart and soul of Houston, a place where people can come together and share their love of music, laughter, and good company. It will always be a place where people can escape the chaos of the world and find solace in the familiar embrace of a true dive bar. La Carafe Dive Bar is located at 813 Congress Street, Houston, Texas. The Marfa Lights, Marfa, Texas. The Marfa Lights have been a mystery for centuries. They appear in the skies above the small Texas town of Marfa, dancing and flickering in the night. Some say they are ghosts. Others say they're UFOs, and still others believe they are a natural phenomenon, but no one knows for sure. One night, a group of friends decided to take a camping trip to Marfa to see the lights for themselves. They set up camp at the edge of town, and as the sun set, they sat around the campfire, telling ghost stories and drinking beer. As the night grew darker, the friends started to see the Marfa lights in the distance. They were mesmerized by the glowing orbs, 
dancing and flickering in the sky. They watched in awe as the lights seemed to move closer and closer to their campsite. Suddenly, one of the lights shot straight towards them, and they could see that it was not a natural phenomenon, but a spaceship. The friends were terrified, but they couldn't look away. The spaceship landed right in front of them, and a door opened. Out stepped an alien, who introduced himself as Zorg. He told the friends that he was from a planet called Zorgona, and that his people had been visiting Earth for centuries. He explained that the Marfa lights were their way of communicating with Earthlings, and they had chosen the friends to help with the mission. The mission was to save Zorgona from destruction. The planet was on the brink of collapse, and the only way to save it was to find a powerful energy source called the Zorgon Crystal. Zorg told his friends that the crystal was hidden on Earth, and that these guys were the only ones that could find it. The friends were reluctant at first, but Zorg convinced them that their destiny was to save his planet. He gave them a map and a device that would help them locate the crystal. The friends set out on their journey, facing many challenges and overcoming many obstacles. They traveled through deserts, climbed mountains, and swam through rivers. They faced dangerous creatures and treacherous terrain, but they never gave up. Finally, after weeks of searching, the friends found the Zorgonian crystal. They brought it back to Zorg, who thanked them and used it to save his planet. As a reward for their bravery, Zorg gave all the friends the gift of immortality. They would live forever, always young and healthy, and they would be able to see the Marfa lights whenever they wanted. The friends returned to Marfa as they were hailed as heroes. They told their story to anyone who would listen, and they became known as the Marfa Light Saviors. They lived long and happy lives, and they never forgot the adventure that changed their lives forever. Years passed, and friends grew old, but they never aged. They watched as Marfa changed, as new buildings were built and the old ones were torn down. But one thing that never changed, the Marfa Lights still danced in the sky, a reminder of the adventure that they had with an alien who changed their lives forever. The Marfa Lights remained a mystery, but to the friends, they were a symbol of hope, adventure, and the unknown. They always remembered the night when they saw the lights up close and the alien who changed their lives forever. They knew that the lights would continue to dance in the sky, a reminder that there is always more out there than what we can see.